Well, many states criminalize the intentional injury of any animal, and in some states, simply leaving an animal without any, without making any proper provisions for its proper care is criminal. But what must the state prove to make a cruelty to animals charge stick? Well, joining us now with the answer is Roger McGowan with Washburn University School of Law. And Roger, as always, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Uh, now, this issue came up in a recent case, I understand. Give us kind of a recap on that. It sure did, Janet, and good to be with you today. This case came out of Texas, and so what we're talking about are the Texas statutory requirements to establish cruelty to animals. And what you have is an unfortunate situation between husband and wife. They were involved in divorce proceedings, and so you've got some acrimony there. Uh, but it, during, uh, during the process, the husband was ordered to take care of the horses that the couple had, and long story short, um, they look like they're being um, not fed properly. A vet is called out to take a look at it. The vet makes a determination that, yeah, there's a problem here. Even though they had low parasite presence, he said the most likely reason for their thinness was that they were not being fed property, properly. And all the leaves had been on the trees nearby had been uh, shredded. Uh, uh, there was debris. There was a stock tank or pond that had water, but it was filled with debris. It was stagnant. Just the conditions for the horses were not good at all. And so ultimately, he was convicted of cruelty to livestock animals and sentenced to 180 days in jail. That was later changed to 24 months on the condition that he served 30 days in jail. And he appealed, but the appellate court said the evidence could lead the jury to find beyond a reasonable doubt that he was in, intentional or knowing in not providing one or more of the horses in his care enough nutrition. And so that charge stuck. What are the requirements to establish that conviction for cruelty to animals? Are there certain well, elements? Yeah, again, it varies from state to state, but typically the state has to prove that the horse owner acted with depraved intent. And cruelty to animals typically is classified as a misdemeanor and carries a penalty that can range anywhere from six months in jail or, and or a fine of up to $2,000. Uh, most states don't classify as cruelty animals accepted veterinary practices and bona fide experience, experiments that are commonly recognized uh, that are done by research facilities. And Roger, what about routine farming and ranching activities? Can those lead to such a charge? And also, I've got to uh, include rodeo activities in that question. Yeah, normally not. It's a good question, but in many of the western states with respect to rodeos, rodeo practices that are accepted by the Rodeo Cowboys Association are statutorily determined not to constitute cruelty animals as well as the humane killing of an animal which is diseased or disabled. And and again, normal and accepted practices of animal husbandry do not constitute cruelty to animals with respect to farm animals. And killing an animal that is found injuring or posing a threat to another person, farm animal, or farm animal or property is also permitted. So the routine practices and routinely protecting your property from other animals, which would cause you to, to kill an animal, is not deemed to be cruelty to animals. But again, the evidence is key in all of these situations, and the rules can vary from state to state. Good points to keep in mind. Roger, as always, thank you very much for sh joining us. Roger McGowan with Washburn University School of Law on the phone with us today from Topeka, Kansas.